to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link, where our redeemed, revived, and transformed guests get real on empowering the youth. This is your 12th episode, and this is part two, and I am your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen. Listen, thank you so much for being a part of the Power Talk family. Power Gang, big up yourself. Power Gang, Power Gang, Power Gang. Right away, I would like you to just go over to Humble Boss Production YouTube channel and just subscribe, subscribe, subscribe subscribe, like, and share his content. And you know, on every social media platform, Sheena Power Talk, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook business page, Sheena Power Talk, go over there and get connected. Today I have with me uh, 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 two amazing, wonderful, beautiful young ladies come to talk about church girl problems. <laughs> and oh my God, this is something that I got in connect with are better yet, a beautiful woman that I got in connect with. And I heard these things and I'm telling you, it's super, super interesting. And I'm so happy that it's gonna be shared here on Sheena Power Talk. And now let me introduce you to my awesome, amazing, beautiful guest. And sitting here with me is Samantha Thompson. And when you hear Samantha Thompson, you think about church girl problem. But not only Samantha Thompson, but we got the beautiful Alison Roberts soon, right? And let me tell you something, today is going to go down because we're going to shed awareness to some things that really needs to be alighted. But for now, I want my beautiful guest to use one minute and tell the viewing audience who they really are. We'll start from you, Samantha. Hi, everyone. My name is Samantha Thompson. I am a worshiper. I am a singer. I am an actress. You're reading at the Bible. You hear about a man with the 10 talent and him use it. And God give more. Me, I'm descendant. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am also a teacher. I love teaching children. I am also a person who loves to pray. I love to sing. I love to compose. Anything creative, that's me. When it's a vibes, it's it was Samantha. I'm also a very stern person. I believe in the Bible. If I know, I know. If I yeah, I yeah. If I amen, you don't know amen. I am very straightforward to the point. I'm also very blunt. I'm a love laugh. And I love Jesus. Hey, you know, Samantha, we're going to go straight to a list. So, no. yes. please tell the viewing audience one minute who you really are. Hi, everyone. My name is Alison Roberts, and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. <laughs> yes, I am a singer, songwriter, composer, actress, fashion designer, and many more things. I am so blessed that God has gifted me with many talents. And, you know, I'm just trying to live and share and be that person. I host a, just a, a YouTube tag tag means talk about grace and you know whatever life brings me I like to share what I've learned and experienced with others who might be going through the same things yeah you know so vibes will say you know so culture will say you know so creativity is always there God thought about all that when he thought about me hey. <laughs> Wasn't that awesome? My God, they are just so vibrant, and I love the attitude, the attitude. Oh, my God. No, we're going to go into church girl's problem, but um, I believe that the Bible is a foundation of truth. Yes. You know, we go there. We go there. So I want to you guys know, tell me a favorite scripture and what it means to you. Well, I have two favorite scriptures. Um, the first one is in Psalms. It says, Blessed be the Lord my God, who teacheth my hands to war and my fingers to fight. The art my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. And the other one says, consider the ravens of the air. They do not worry how they eat, how they will sleep, much less we who are the apple of God's eye. So take no thought for tomorrow because the Lord is in control. Those are my two favorites. Hallelujah. Amen. Go ahead. And my favorite scripture is ah. Uh, Popular one, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not to thine own understanding and in all thy way acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. That means a lot to me because I, I have a lot of thoughts and I have a lot of ways and if I follow my way, I'll be in problem. And so I have to daily trust in the Lord and just release everything to him so that I can have a path that is directed by God himself. 
Hallelujah. Your treatment, but hallelujah. <laughs> oh my God, that's good. So we want to get into church girl problems, but there's always something I admire about Samantha. As she stated, she ha she's a woman of many talents. And I, for one, know that because not only she's my friend, but she's my co-worker. So I know a little bit more about her. But there's one thing I admire about her, and I really want you to give me give me something new and give me a little piece, eh? The African, oh. oh and I just love when you speak. Can you just I'm my friend. You see, I'm from Ibo State, Nigeria. And I just came down to support my friend here in Jamaica. Hey. You see, I'm not really here, but you know, because I'm here in Jamaica, I don't want people to look at me strange. So what I do, I adapt the culture, the principles of Jamaicans. And I love it here. It reminds me of home. <laughs> These are my few words in yes, Jesus' name. my Igbo sister. <laughs> I just love it. I just yeah. love it. I just love hey. when you speak in Africa. It just does something to me. But we're going to go into church girl problems. No, this is very important. And this is something we need the youth to, you know, be aware of and what's going on. And some of the struggles that the women are having, even the younger women. And they do have church men problem. But we're going to stick to the church girls mm -hmm. problem. So God-given solutions this and church girl problems. How, where would you start? What are some of the church girl oh, problems? So church girl problems came about when me and my friend Allison is actually her baby okay. but I am the surrogate she yes. trusted me to bring forth this baby yeah. and bless God this baby has grown and it has flourished so it's church girls problems God given solution because we were talking about the different issues that we faced as young women in church and sometimes we'll have these problems and we're afraid for ask minister about it or any other person about it because they kind of feel cute and sometimes they feel like these problems are only innate to you and you alone have the problem but in truth plenty other persons have it and then we were like no man we can't just talk about the problem them so and we're not getting a solution so we say all right church girls problem god given solution so what we would do is we would ask ministers mature women in god mature men in god as well the questions and it will provide us a God-given solution. And trust me, these solutions that we get, they are to the point, they are sharp, and also they are very effective. And trust me, sometimes it comes with a prayer, sometimes it comes with a rebuke, and sometimes it comes with encouragement. Yes. Definitely. For me, the original thing is you gathering with your girlfriends, who they are usually Christians, and you have the, the discussion. Gather the girls! I have the discussion about all these things and I'm just like, yeah, hashtag church girl problems. So when we had the discussion with Samantha sitting in the car at her gate, it's just like, these are things nobody talk about. We share them among each other and we leave it there. So it's almost like gossip. So I'm like, we need help. Mm -hmm. We need help and people are not going to ask for help. So when we came up with the idea of doing something anonymous, it would give people the freedom to receive their response without sometimes feeling exposed. Yes, or even judged. Yes, and that is a part of it as well. So when we are able to just freely state it, oh, you even comment on your own thing so that you can get further answers without somebody knowing that that is your issue because a lot of times you don't want to expose your church, you don't want to expose whoever was the person to cause that hurt, but at the same time, you want the help yes so so what are some of the church girl problems now and the god-given solution because this is an awesome idea and i and it's very and it's very helpful to the church sisters because i'm pretty sure this i know that persons are being helped they're getting the help they need in just with just the solutions and just bringing light to their situations mm -hmm. so what are some of the church girl problems so some of the church girl problems, it spans from relationships to simple matters in church to even personal issues to even internal conflicts going on. So how we categorize them sometimes, we categorize them, for example, like would say um, single problems, you would have a musician problem, you would have a married people problem where the girls are concerned. So one of the main ones we saw coming up was about sex and relationships. Relationship. So the person would say, hashtag church girls problems. I realize that I like this guy. And every time he would say like me too, but he's not really putting anything up front or forward to me. I always ask him what about his girlfriend and he never ever confess. 
he's always a fashion kind, you know, we talk about different things, but he, he never really shows any interest in me. Oh, by the way, he has a lot of friends that might be a little bit suspect. Hashtag, I'm into him, but he doesn't seem to be into my kind. Hashtag, church girls problems. Yes. Wow. So then, if you have a problem like that, what's the solution? So the solution somebody gave, I remember, she said, look, this guy obviously is not interested in you. Leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Leave him alone. Put on your big girl panties. Get over it. Don't look his way. Because one... A man naturally pursues someone that Once he's, he's interested in. Right. You understand? And you are push up yourself on him and, him and give him the hint and him not take the hint. Run for your life. Because it just might be he's struggling with his sexuality too. Yeah. Because he no want a woman according to how she put it neatly. Ooh. So, and that does happen a lot in church. Mm. So that is also a church girl problem. That is also a problem, but sometimes even for that man, you know, that's a problem for him. But he needs a solution. Problem. Church boys yeah. problem. And and that happens a lot. Um it is the battle of sin that all of us are exposed to, whether it's fornication, the the lust that we experience, yeah. but it's a fight. Yeah. So we all need to know that no matter the sin, what it dressed up as we have to go through that process of deliverance, seeking the Lord. And so, you know, getting it out there is a first step to realize that, okay, I'm not the only one facing this. I'm not mm -hmm. the only one experiencing this and I can get help. Hallelujah. And one of the things that, that's very good, Alison. And one of the things you said about the church girl problem was that she, she, she was looking at even how he dressed, right? And, and I think this should be highlighted like, there are some dressing taking place mm -hmm. and, and we are talking about men mm -hmm. and, and I think it's leaving a lot of women confused. Mm -hmm. So what would you say is a God given solution to that? What if I, what if I say, I like this guy in church, mm -hmm. but his pants is really tight. He looks feminish. He acts feminish. And basically this is what she's saying, mm -hmm. right? So, so basically what, what, what other advice would you give to her rather than just run? All right. So a God given solution is not everybody's into the tight pants. So if your boyfriend or whoever, your guy friend really take a different turn, just remind him that there's no way I can be the one with the curves and the shape and you are outshining me with your tight pants or with your knickers. Quite frankly, it's a different generation. We live in nowhere. The rules have changed. Nowadays, man no really look like man. They look like man frame or man too. And quite frankly, some of the ladies are willing to accept that. But as a woman of God, as a woman of worth, as a young man, just as all the women are supposed to look like the world, the men must not look like the world as well. There must be a standard. There but must yeah, be a standard. Yeah, that is true, Samantha. And I do, I, I do see some men in pants that are really tight, for real. But I'm not, I am not knocking the fashion part of it, you know, because I really want a man where know about fashion nice and, and clean. dress good. Mm -hmm. So I'm not have no problem with that. But the tight pants, I remember say, I mean, uh, too shapey already, and then you go look shape better no, than me. No, Sheena, you have some of them on bearable tight. I'm not about the fitted jeans, them, you know. Yeah. Them, they are the fitted one. But me talk about the one them with unbearable tight. You can count them knee up. Yeah. You can see the crevice and the corners of them knee up. That too tight, friend. Yes. Cut it out. For me, I believe that that's not an issue that as a woman you really should approach a man. I think you should seek counsel. So if you see a nice older gentleman, maybe preferably a married man, who would be able to, you know, Take him up and say, yeah, boss, this is how we do it, you know. We want to look professional, we want to look stylish. Because a lot of the older men with the sprinkles of gray, come ooh, on, ooh, the yeah. men of God are coming out. Ooh, oh, yeah. They are True. looking good, True. looking saved and holy at the same time. And so if you can ask him his experience, maybe it's a growth thing for him that brought him to that place. But if you can ask, uncle, this is what is happening. Mm -hmm. yes. Are you able to even don't take, talk to him one away, gather a few young men so that he doesn't feel exposed yes, and, and be able to bring them up bad. very sensitive, you know, to even tell them, yeah, this is a small way. Buy one pants, five shirt, <laughs> two jacket. Switch up the thing, you That's know. Right. You want to look professional. You want to look like a businessman because a lot of men 
are driven by success. So they want to have that picture. So get an uncle in church that is yeah, actually... Salt and pepper, salt oh, and pepper. Yeah. Ah, salt and bless oh, bless yes. you, men of yeah, God. Yeah, bless yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, come yeah. And, and speak to them. That's right. Speak to them. Because if me go say, no, Lord, you understand now. Lord, you pants tight and you can't... You babes, man. Yeah. 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 Sure. So you want somebody who probably has been through phases to be able to tell them how I got here right. and what you can do now where you are to really put yourself together as and just man. be established as a man. And also, you know, um, looking ahead in the future for church girls or church, uh, slash church boys problems because we've added on that leg to it, God-given solution. We also want to provide mentorship for some of these people who ask these questions because I realize that a lot of these young people, they need mentors. Right. Just as what she said with the, with, the, with, the, with, the, with the men, the older man admonishing the younger men, That's we Bible. need those things in church because the truth is somehow we, we grow rough and tough. We don't know about certain things and church, I come tell us we for stop where this. We don't understand. You understand what I'm saying? But with mentorship, we can say, all right, so the reason why you wear this are because of this, just like with the young women. So this this one says, hashtag church girl problems. One of my ministers at church keep on saying some slightly sexual comments to me when he sees me walking past. When I ask him to repeat, he just smiles or says God is good. I feel a little uncomfortable because I'm sure he is married. What should I do? Hashtag church girl's problem. Hashtag mean no. So we have some God-given solution and some comments. So this person says, go to him one away and tell him you feel uncomfortable with his comments and you would like him to stop. Then limit your interactions with him if you can and move on with your life with Christ by your side. Amen. This other person says, talk to him direct. Be firm and be serious. If he continues, report him to the leadership of the church or the leadership board, simple. Make sure you bring along to witnesses to ensure yeah. that you have a legit alibi and so that he can't twist it or turn it and blame you for it. And this other person says, talk to him strongly but respectfully because he's still a minister about what he said. Do not go out of the line or be disrespectful. Yeah. If he doesn't stop, take it up to the bishop. Yes. So personally, Alison, what would you say to her? Yeah, I agree with that because a lot of times in church, a lot of people find themselves in situation but really sticky because it's the minister, you know, you know what? you act like a shy fool and they get caught up. He can turn it around to say, you know, you are flirting right. or you are giddy. So and, you and, have and to be firm and strong. every time you see him, you're giving him a smile. Right, so with that, because the authority figure, the position that he holds, normally, you know, if you are a young girl, you feel a little slighted. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's that you've experienced with our Jamaican culture, a uh, older man coming on to you already. So naturally, your assumption is that. So to talk to him, you will get clarity because maybe it's not the situation you don't know. It's just that because of your experience, you feel like that is what it is. So if he knows that it brings you that feeling, he should, as a man, say, no, I'm not there. Apologies and draw the line. Right. But you have to speak up so he knows and then know if that is the case that he's actually flirting with you, then you know and be able to draw the line yourself. A lot of us are influenced by, you know, to be honest, the Jamaican rape culture where, you know, we're used to people coming at us. Yeah. You're a 10 year old, you get big. Mm -hmm. Oh, you look nice in your and shots. You're full out. Yeah, you're full out. This is coming from a 50 year old man. Mm -hmm. So it has, there's a subconscious that is created in us as young women that any man say hi, he might look me. So you have to it's be true. careful to make sure you, are, you have that clarity and you are able to draw the line either way. But also, I want to show the opposite side too. There are times when some of these men, they are real predators. Mm -hmm. They are predators. And, and trust me, a lady preach and she say, Church coming like hospital. Hospital, you have doctor. Hospital, you have nurse. Hospital, you have porter. Hospital, you have vendor. And you have undertaker. And you have patients. Some people come at hospital, them don't really sick. And some people come at hospital because they want attention. It's the same thing with church. 
It is the same thing with church. That's why the Bible said everybody will say, Lord, Lord, I'm going to enter. So at the same time, you have to protect yourself and also protect the little ones who are around you. If you know this person love young girl, I love young girl, or part of my friend, I love little girls. Keep far and ask him for nothing. He must say, bless the Lord. You say, bless the Lord. For she and you tell us to stay far from that one year. You understand what I'm saying? Because too many times we, we blame our girls. Because we say, you man, such a flighty, such a flirty, flirty. Sometimes the child is just naturally naive. They're children. And they're nice and they want to make friends. And somebody come and smile with them. If them not smile, suck one miserable. If them smile too much, why you, 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 you love man? So we have to create the balance as people and protect our children. Too many times we hear of things happening to people in church and also outside of church because we want to play naive. Remember, the devil go up to God. Mm -hmm. Satan go up to God and say, let me touch Job. That's in our Bible. So what is that saying to you? The devil is roaming around seeking in whom church. he may devour. Yes. That's right. And, and I, I wanted to add something. We have to be careful. With church culture, we create this family environment. So from you're a baby, you know, that is uncle, that is auntie. A lot of times we don't know the background of these people. Mm -hmm. And we leave up our children. We're in church. It's a safe place. Mm -hmm. A lot of parents just send them picnic on a church. Uncle, auntie, everybody have access to these children. And it's a comfortable place. The child thinks, this is auntie, so we're good. This is uncle. And you're not realizing that these are people who are struggling with issues. Oh, yeah. And they will perpetrate that upon your child because the access is there. So we have to be very mindful of how we train our children to be aware and also ensuring that you as an auntie at church watching yes. to ensure that it's a safe space Definitely. for the children. Hey beauties and cuties, welcome to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and here we have fiery youths for God, pull up, vibe, and chill, discussing serious kingdom business. Sheena Power Talk is powered by the Holy Ghost. We are redeemed, revived, transformed to empower, and I can reassure you there is power, anointing, and fire in every episode. Please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment, and Stay tuned, you will be blessed. Wow, I love how you shed light to that because really and truly church the church family really we, we we don't really take attention to some of the things that we have mm -hmm, to understand yeah. i see them where the people them come yes <laughs> yes hallelujah the same where the people them come off of the road them yes come in the church, mm -hmm. yes so enough that we not take notice of that but this is so so good and i love that you're bringing awareness to this so what are some of the other church girls problems all right so this one says hashtag church girls problem why most married people People in church look so unhappy to be married. If they are so unhappy, why should I get married in the first place? Hashtag help. Hashtag me no no singleness feel nice. Hashtag mm -mm, na look. <laughs> so here's a God given solution. This person says you should get married if you are both on the same page, of course, and use your marriage to change a perception of what you think. I have that observation too. It would seem to as though church marriage is like passion and joy. Maybe it's a perce perception. Church people, they can't show affection openly. That, 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 maybe. However, you and your husband can be intentional about your marriage and also set an example and a new standard mm -hmm. in the church. Oh, and that's good because really and truly, sometimes that's what I think like, why they always look so grumpy? <laughs> What's what, what happened? Like, like them no love them okay. one and them not have so fun. Yeah. And them can't sit yeah. Like, can't, yeah you know. But somebody also gave the the, the, the the example too that because you're in church, you know, sometimes we separate church and sex because mm -hmm. for us sometimes in church in church sex is dirty and nasty. Yes. 
worse if you're not married and then sometimes you don't want to show too much affection because then somebody might say, La, those them so love up, but my wish me did this, wish me did that. So I think that sometimes I don't know how to strike the balance. But at my church, World Harvest, I always watch Brother Luke and his wife. If he comes in, he always says, where is, where, where is Rose? His, his wife's name is Rose. And when he sees her, no matter what she's doing, no matter what he's doing, he goes and he gives her a little bongs. Or him give her a little squeeze and say, you're all right. And then when, whenever a regular church is happening and she's sitting, they sit beside each other. And it's like sometimes they look at the one end and they smile and I say, whoa. I say, oh, first me I see this in a church. First. And yeah, because you understand me like them things. Because when I get married, I don't care where I go. I'm, I'm that type of person. I love yeah. Go, clingy, guani, guani, ugo, full, and, and that is a good yeah. example to show us to say, all in, right, in, in, you know, your young stage, you're married. Happy. Nothing is wrong with, you know, giving your husband one. Well, even though you see him already. Yeah. But you're ex, you told at church, you know, what, well, babe, say, all right. Are you giving him a wave or something to show us that, wow, you can be married and can Tent and be living a joyful life in Jesus Christ. Amen. In my church is a different experience. I see it till it's a nine. <laughs> yes. Um, there are there are, um couples who, you know, take in the young people and we go there and they will, mommy, daddy. And you know, they are loving, especially older couples, I mean 50s and up, and you can't tell them nothing. So though I am seeing those things growing up, I'm like, yes. A lot of times though, uh, some people in church they marry for the wrong reason. Ooh. You marry for the look of it. You marry for say you're married. And when you go in there, you're like, oh, this is not what I bargained for. It's going to show. No matter how you try to hide it, it come across. Some other people, them don't like each other as married couples. Ooh. Yeah, that's true. I'll thank you for going there because that's true. And sometimes you will talk to some people like, like you, some of them say, no, my marriage is this and that and that. And a and, and lot of us get married for the wrong reason, and which leads back, I can't get married for sex. Oh, no, no, I no, because that will fail. You can't go. get married, but marriage is a ministry to yes. me. Mm. To me, so even though I want the love of you, and even though I'm I'm in tune to my sexual side, right. I want to ensure that my marriage is glorifying God, but not only that, but I am happy. That's right. Like, that's, that's home, you know. That, that's yeah. home. And, forever. And, 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 that, and that's home forever, you're right. And then, God is not into divorce, and then you don't want to live a divorce life. Not saying that people don't get divorced. Right. You don't want to live a divorce life. You want to live a happy life. You want. I want a husband that I can kneel together and pray with him. Mm -hmm. It's like. I don't want to be grumpy. Yeah. Right. And there are phases too. Mm -hmm. You will pass that honeymoon phase and thing, but the love is still there. Respect is there. And if you have respect, even when you not like him at the moment, mm -hmm. you know, say for Anna him. And yeah. so that will come out. So that's a lot of the things that the marriage foundation needs to be built on that respect. Definitely. That mutual respect for as a person. Yeah. So I'm going to say and... Yeah, and apply patience to everybody of them little ways. They can't think him perfect Ooh. for the first yes. part. You have him ways. You and you have your ways too. That's yes. true. I'm mm -hmm. a love you say that because sometimes we're going to marriage looking for the perfect, perfect. person. The and we get raw materials mm -hmm. because just like oh God has to work on yes. work on us, we have to take time work on other people so it really need patience. It's true. And, and, and as I even talk, I surely know so the Holy Spirit just don't know yes. that to me. Because me, sometimes we can seem selfish. I personally know that I have selfish ways. And that's why you can't just run going to things. You have to, you have to examine and yourself. And think about it carefully too because you ready. when you're married, it's not just you alone you think about. Yeah. And then also the Bible speaks about honoring your husband. Yes. Wives, respect your husband, honor him, husband, love your wife like, oh, Jesus love the church. You know that they love the church. <laughs> yes, but one of the things that I really see women having a problem with now is the fact that you say, the, the, they say, be submissive to your husband. <laughs> now, these husbands have gone out of proportion thinking that the, the wives are dogs and yes, when I they mean. say mm. what would you say about that, Alison? Boy, that is a problem because I am saying that's why you need a man of God in your life. Oh, yes. A lot of times you can't change him, but when you go down by your knee and pray, All right. God will do the work. And, oh. and that is what we really need because if he is connected to God, God is going to convict him of the wrong that he's oh, doing. Yes. So a lot of times we take up the wrong people and try to fix. And that is where the problem lies. Because as a human being, just general courtesy, how can you believe that submission mean, oh, me run she? 
me if you love somebody you will understand that they're a person and mm-hmm. there is respect that comes with that mutual respect yes you are going to require her to honor and respect you as the word says but at the same time honor and respect don't come from being lord over jesus is the only lord Hallelujah. yes so men need to understand that and the fact is that as a woman i know personally i get softer when i am cared for yeah. so the things them where you want care for me and it's gonna come out easy That's so true. if they understand the principle of loving me it's not you being boss over me that make me get kind of strong because yeah. I war, we're going to war now. <laughs> and that is not what God calls us to do in our marriage, ladies. But the men need to understand that the more they love us, the more that they cherish us, mm-hmm. it softens the woman to want to fall in line with what God has commanded us. I well understand, man. She said something very profound. She said, we cannot change anybody. That's the but truth. we go on our knees. Oh, yes. And we pray for God to change them. And Definitely. that is profound. Because many times, we even see red flags in them before we marry them, mm-hmm. you know. Big but so. we say, that all right, we are gonna change them. Yeah. We cannot change anybody. The, the big ring blind way. <laughs> <laughs> we cannot change anybody, but God can change Amen. them. Amen. So I was going to say also, it's it's it's, it's the law of sowing and reaping Amen. too. Yeah. If you sow in your wife pain, torture, abuse, your worthless, your degrade that every single day you shall reap the fruit thereof because you can't expect you to plant cabbage and all of a sudden you see one big mango tree sprout out it doesn't work like that so the way you want mind you there are times some people it, they're a little bit rough around the edges and that goes and that's going to lead to my other point but you have to sow what you want to reap and I remember speaking about some of these issues that come up to for church girl problems. We talk about the soulish realm. Remember, you know, each other we have our own different experiences. We go through things. Things affect us differently, different backgrounds. So there's no way your wife or your husband is going to come with everything all together. They themselves have gone through personal trauma. Probably a trauma for her might be each time... Probably you're not shout her far enough, but you say, see I'm thing is a trigger for she and it's like she's going on one mechanism now, she wanna fight you. That is not your intention, but that is a trigger for her. And also as single women too, we have to learn to be whole on our own. It's not two half coming together to make a whole. Because two half of people, the two of them head chip and I be a madness happen. When you're whole on your own, some of us insecure. If the man tell us you're pretty one day, him just think him a cheat, him a do this, him a do that and him no love you. And a, pity you don't know, say, it's something in you that you need for work out. You need to pray about that side of your Lord. Me no feel like me look good enough. Me, me, me no like this, me no like that. And you nitpick at yourself. And then when the man come no one say you're so beautiful. Now sir, you know, see my belly big. Now sir. And the man I say every time me I try to tell you look good, you tell me, you know what? Me I go join you. Your belly big for true. Yeah, that's 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 insecurities, mm-hmm. you know, deep seated insecurities. And we really have to take notice of that. You have to love yourself. First. Yes. And that's one of the most important things. Just loving yourself. And just and if your husband love your flaws, why why you keep bringing them up? Mm-hmm. Why you keep bringing up? So we have to get to a place where we love ourselves. We yes. love our looks. We love those things. And we can appreciate when people um compliment. Yeah. 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 To, to add to that, that is it. As a single person now, I encourage all of us to, in a single season, ensure that you build up yourself. Yes. Thinking about it, there are a lot of ways that I would have personally realized. Because if you are honest with yourself, over time you realize the dirty ways when they come and surface based on your experience. And you have to be honest with yourself to seek change. You want to be a better person to have a, a good offering to offer somebody because, you know, when you have your list, you want the nice things oh, them. Yeah. So you have to bring the nice things to them. To the person as well. Exactly. So you have to be honest with yourself to say, boy, I'm miserable in certain ways, but things where don't have to be miserable about. Find the root That's and true. start dig it up. And I think that that, that that is what singleness does. It help us to learn us. Yes. But sometimes we don't appreciate because I was in a season where I didn't appreciate singleness because it's something that 
that I'm not used to. I don't like being alone. Right. But God really showed me that, listen, you have to be in this position yes. to know what to fix. You can, because we have patterns in you know? Oh, yes, yeah. we patterns. do. And we don't want to bring old patterns yes. into new relationship. Mm. So I'm learning to appreciate singleness and just looking at the things that I don't want other persons to know. I fix them because we really and truly can't go in a relationship. No, you can't go, so. No, like, man. Yeah, you, yeah, know, you fix your yeah, man. The fast food thing for me, I need yeah. like cooking thing. Yeah. Yeah. Thing there. And you want husband, yeah. miss? Husband, I want husband, I want yeah. husband. Yeah. And then sometimes I'm in talking mood. You can't shut down. No, you husband. can't do so that. You know, God will teach me. I said, when, when I'm doing something, God will say, keep that's it. Yes, that's it. right. That's all you right, for fix. Right, right that's, that's all. It. And then, but you know how? Oh, for me, how God would allow me to learn about myself is say, God would say, "All right, think of me as your husband." Mm. So when I don't talk to God, this is what it comes to. This is how you treat your husband. Mm. You don't talk to God. Uh -huh. uh, I, if I leave, if I come out the house and I don't spread the bed, then this is how you're gonna treat Ooh. your husband. So this is the ways that God will teach you. Ooh. You don't, you don't feel the mood for for clean and this. You want a oh, husband? yeah. And Get I think there. this is how. God would help me to yes. know, prepare me. Yes. Prepare me. And, and, and I'm being prepared, not sure if God is done, but I know that when the man comes, <laughs> the work continues. When, when the man comes, you know what God does. Hallelujah. So. The, work, the work is, is a continuous <laughs> process, you know. So don't think you're going to be able to fix everything. But yeah. what I use is even my relationship with my friends. There are some times when say, Samantha says something to me, and I say, this is me. I want attack. Because of the experience, then you think about it to say, all right, this is a person, this is my friend. Mm -hmm. How do I respond in love? And those things create patience. It make you pause before you answer. To so say, like, wait, Samantha, what did you mean by right. that? Before I say, hey, further? what you say? You know, and you learn to communicate. You learn yes. to understand. So your daily relationships are to grow you as a person. Not necessarily only to groom you for marriage, mm -hmm. but for life itself. As, as people, you have to learn to communicate. You have to learn to respond in wisdom. Calmly listen. Listen with grace. Come on now. And preach. love. Preach. Yes. Yeah, because yes, some of we have hunger salt to put in it. Salt <laughs> and add pepper. And, and some I love how she said communicate, but you know you can communicate and still people not understand. It's true. Yes. And and I think that's that, that that that's why we need patience because something can be really annoying. And another thing that I think that Alison said is that too cool. Two, two, yes. half, two half. <laughs> can make a hole. What that gun do is a whole lot of fight. Uh -huh. Because you, when you're in other world, for me, in other world, you can't say anything to me. I'm ready for fight. I used to, I used to always be in domestic affairs when we go in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't think a man just want beat me. So no, mm. my you said things too. Like it. Yeah, you said things too. My mother just said chat to me. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we are defend just that. But God has shown me that 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 that's ignorance. That right. ignorance is illiteracy. Yes, you know? and and that's not a God, because you have to make it, you have to have the fruits. Yes, and a I better think the way. The fruits of the spirit goes for everything. Mm. Every relationship, or you deal with your friend, or you deal with your family, we need the fruits of the spirit. <laughs>
Yeah, I walk. I, I, maybe I would walk with a mint. And, I, and I eat one and, and, and yes. give you one. I see one, one. Right. Yes. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't make it a, 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 a extreme problem. You understand? Because you know the mouth get tired sometimes. Yeah, man, and, and hungry and, and yeah. You know, and a church and day, you know, you're mm. probably on a fast day, you know, fasting, yep. bread and normal. And if you fast, <laughs> no, we have a dark truth because we're not perfect. We're flesh and we're not. Even we in a bed for a couple of days. Let me, me tell you, yes. we don't stink. Yes, we don't stink. So we are human. And sometimes we fast and the fasting bread and nice. So it, it bring a mint. But you're not make that be an extreme problem. It happens. We are human beings. Yeah. You understand? But you can't give your God-given solution. Yes. So the God-given solution is find a nice little way to prepare a package for mama or papa. Or you can just give them a mint. Or even allow somebody older or one of the ministers to talk to them. Because I know sometimes they might have members meeting and they say, okay, so we have to work on our hygiene. When it is done in that forum, it is a, it is a lot less offensive because that mm -hmm. person will not be singled out. Because just as all would want somebody to come and say, I'm out think, we must not do it to other persons as well and find a nice, discreet discreet way. Now if you have money and you can't you yeah. can help out with a dentist appointment. Right, you, you do, do that. that too. You know for say I call your mouth thing. Right. Yes, you know and you don't do. spread it and tell everybody at church. Your boy, yes. you know, say, brother, so and so more frowns, yes, man, and him so love talk up to, don't do that. Yeah, that's not don't nice. Don't do that's that. Not, that's not we must, nice. We must make sure our language is seasoned with grace. Amen. So this person says, hashtag church girls problems. I don't feel the need to go to my local church anymore. I no longer feel convicted to go to that church. I just go because, you know, I like the other persons and so on. But if I don't go to church, I'm going to say my backslide. Like, church is now being operated kind of like a business. Church is starting to feel monotonous, you know, like an organization. I thought it was supposed to be like a Liberty Hall. Me just not have no more enthusiasm in my yam and towards my local church. Hashtag, I still love Jesus. Hashtag, me no know ya man. So a God given solution is this person says the struggle is real, but you know what? Keep God at the center. Ask Him to show you where your first love is for Him, and He will stir up the fire, stir up the zeal inside of you. Until then, keep on pressing. No care how you feel. And this person says, I am doing the same thing on my journey. Let's work together, baby. Mm. This other person says, um, many times these are clear signs that God is prompting you to leave this place. This other person says, pray and ask the Lord if it is time for you to go before you go. God might be perfecting something mm -hmm. inside of you at your local church. Don't move before the Lord tells you to move. And I can understand she says she's not feeling the vibe at her church, but first you have to remember that she is the church. Amen. Uh -huh. you understand? What are you bringing to the what table? What are you really bringing to the table? And I, for one, we do feel that way sometimes. You know, sometimes it's not even an offense. Mm -hmm. Sometimes God probably going to move you. Sometimes God is doing something. Sometimes it's just a transition. Yeah. There are a transformation. Or probably you need to get down a little deeper yeah. in the word. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, when, whenever you know temptation, mm -hmm. these are these are attacks of the head sometimes. Of course, you know? and it, and it helps to build the character. Like attack is just demonic. Mm -hmm. But these are not sometimes attack of the enemy. And when, you, when, when, when your mind is weakened to that attack, you know that your relationship or your intimacy with God is shaken. Mm -hmm. And you cannot be shaken. And you cannot be a surface level Christian. Oh, no. Because if you're a surface level Christian, mm -hmm. everything is going to rock you. And yes. then uh, the devil can quickly sweep you out. Yeah. But when you're a mature believer, you say, I don't feel this way, but I'm going to push. Yes. And I'm going to humble myself because there's something with humility. Oh, I don't yeah. feel like it, but, but I'm going to humble myself. That's right. I don't feel like going, but I'm going to humble myself and go. Yeah. So you have to self-check. Yes. And we have to ask the Lord to search us. Yes. And that would be my God-given solution right. to that. That is a very good one. When you speak about self-check, it's very important. A lot of times, a lot of us as Christians will go after the feeling and the vibes thing. Oh. The spirit of God is not about feeling Thank and vibes. So we are going to church looking for our song for play yes. before we get in our spirit. We have to have our preacher. If I know the regular minister talk, I know what your brother so and so. Uh -huh. When you put those things in mind, when that is your focus, mm -hmm. you're distracted from why we're really at church. Yes. And a lot of times we are going to get, get, get. 
That's not what church is about. It's a family. I need to bring something to yes. church to offer somebody. Suppose the vibes are there. May I have to come with the vibes? Yes. Because if me say my God vibes, eh, yes. me can't just go. Every day, may I go for a word. Yeah. Me never have a I word to bring take, it. Take, 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 wah, 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 and that wah. is it. And you look at it in so many areas of life, relationship, with us wah, what we want. Mm-hmm. It forgot that we, so relationship mm-hmm. will line up because me like it so. Church will line up so big. Lopsided. Work will line up so because me. So it's all about you at the center. But who is at the center? Jesus. Jesus. I love how you said that. Hey beauties and cuties, welcome to Sheena Power Talk Youth Link. I'm your host, Sheena Lynn Hansen, and here we have fiery youths for God, pull up, vibe, and chill, discussing serious kingdom business. Sheena Power Talk is powered by the Holy Ghost. We are redeemed, revived, transformed to empower, and I can reassure you there is power, anointing, and fire in every episode. Please subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment, and and stay tuned, you will be blessed. Hi guys, I want to say a big shout out to Humble Boss Production. And I want each and everybody on my YouTube channel or anywhere on my social media platforms to just go over to his YouTube channel, Humble Boss Production, and just press the subscribe button. Listen to me, he's the humblest person I've ever gotten the chance to work with. And not only is he humble, but he does great work. All my work is done by Humble Boss Production. I am happy to end up this move i'm happy to endorse humble boss production please subscribe to his channel right now stop what you're doing and subscribe to humble boss production and with humble boss the best is yet to come and the best is yet to come and as we are closing i want to highlight the fact that if I know your favorite pastor, preacher. Yeah. You're not feel good. And if I know your favorite worship leader, you can't right. wait. Lord, I, I repent. Go up, they go sit down upon the people. They're like, on the door, have a prayer. Yes. Have a prayer. All right. Because of the favorite. I don't like them so much. I should have church girl like problem, you know. Yeah. I should have like worship them. leader problem. Yes. Sometimes your pastor, <laughs> I'll invite all the next preacher or somebody oh to share the word. Oh, my God. You can't receive them. That is not the ways of mm-hmm. God. And that, that, that is not the evidence of the fruit of the Spirit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because God can speak to a donkey. You don't pray. Oh, yeah. Come on not, now. It's not a preference thing with preference thing with God. All yeah. right. So when people go to to release something, man, come on, pray. You will miss your blessing. Yeah. God, you will miss. Come on, tell yes. man, you will miss your blessing. You need, you need to accept all people. Oh, you want God to accept you. Mm. But then you want to accept other yeah. people. Yes, ma'am. Come on, every worship leader, them are doing what they're supposed to do. We yeah, God have them to do. yeah. They're going to sit down for the people. They're, oh, I know my prayer. And I know your song, they're going to sing. I don't know the song. That's mm. what I'm telling you, some people, them say them know God, but they don't know God because when you know God, the reflection of God is yes. on you. You don't Your operate like that Christ. way. That's and right. Jesus don't act ignorant like some people. Yeah. So I admit mean, I don't like that style away. If I don't, no, no, no. Anybody supposed to can bring a word and I should pick nonsense yes. Yes. and discern the spirit and know how yes, to operate. Ma'am. But me now go just no no one here with somebody else. Yes. And if you have a pastor and you only can get the word from the pastor, something who is are wrong. you worshiping? Thank ah. you very much. Who are you worshiping? So, 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 so now your past has now become your God and an exactly. idol. That means, say, the man out of road can't come to you and say, the Lord, say, I'm going to tell you, say, if you go down by your knee and pray more. Exactly. And I don't know what tell you, but just because it's not your pastor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the next thing that I see in church is familiarity. Mm. You will be anointed, but because you're, 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 you're not a friend and you're anointed, but because when you get a little friendship, no, you can't tell us yeah. that day because... She know your needs. Yeah, she know your needs. No, no, no. Yeah. And this, this is one of the things, familiarity... We have, to, we have to catch up on that, you know. Yeah. That God's to stop. Because God's supposed to can't tell you if you tell me something. I'm going to feel like such a right. yeah. I'm going to accept it. I'm going to feel like such because you know about me. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I say, you can't tell me that because last week you tell me say you did this. That doesn't mean God still can't yeah, use me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to me. I learned to discern spirits. I will. God will send a sinner to me with a word. Yeah. yeah. And I can discern that it is the Lord. That's because right. Because one of the things, when God is sending a word to you, it's always a con Confirmation. Yes. Your will, your spirit will be a witness. That's right. That. So we have to. You know what the church lack? Love. 
I think love caused these things. That was one of the church I've girl's seen. problems. That was one of the church girl problems. So the person says, hashtag church girl, well, backslider problem. I came back to church. I really want to give my life to the Lord. But I was met with steers. And I was met with a lot of whispers. I really came back with the hopes of giving my life to the Lord. But how I was treated when I came into the house of the Lord, I was turned off. Mind you, I came for God. But mind you, if I'm supposed to return and be a part of his church, and I am met with this hatred and this feeling of negativity, how then can I survive as a returnee, as a backslider coming back to God? Hashtag, I want to come back to Jesus Christ, but the church now have no love. And you can just imagine, look at the prodigal son. Look how his father welcomed him back. And we act like mm -hmm. say, we are without sin. No, but, 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 but some of us behave like the brother that said, then I, oh, come see your party for him, daddy. Yes. And I, him go out there, daddy. Yes. You never send him out there, daddy. And you carry, and you come give him the yeah. best thing, daddy. Yeah. Some of us as Christians will behave like that, brother. Yeah. Yeah. It coming like so we don't want nobody for come back at church. We all will be here sometime and treat ourselves. them. Because the word of God saying to him, though, come for who we already see if he came for sinners so that they can come to repentance. So if we as the body of Christ, if we as the church don't create a habitat, a home, so that when these people come and give their lives to the Lord, for them to emulate and say, wow, they meet me with so much love. I have to turn over. Me used to say so, but why? My church family just love upon me. So that when they see someone else who was in a predicament like them, they have been delivered. When they see the person like that, now they can say, no, I was met with love. Let me meet that person with love and pull them closer to Christ. You know the song that says they will know we are Christians by our love? Mm -hmm. Many of us don't believe that because yeah. guess what? We still have the local kumu kumu nest in our way. Watch out in our shaga. What a chavan. Our shaga. They should not know such church. Shaka. No. Some of them just want to meet Jesus. Jesus, not a time I look on them clothes. Exactly. Jesus said, Come. You mm -hmm. are heavy burdened and heavy laden. I will give you rest. Just come just as you are. Make yeah. the Lord work out the other part. We're in them. We want to wear the shut up, shut up, and the tight up, tight up. Allow the Holy Spirit to work on them. You know about the play Holy Spirit. Because mm -hmm. you can't manage. Mm -hmm. You're not perfect. Mm -hmm. I think, and I think these are, as we are closing some, and, and I want you to give, you give your honest opinion. To, but the other day we were questioning, how is it that so many churches are in Jamaica? Yet still so many murder, crime, and violence. And I remember the solution was, the church is here, mm -hmm. but the kingdom is not here. Mm -hmm. I think these are some of the things that really causing the separation because a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. cannot stand. Yeah. And many people, they have a farm, a goddess, but deny mm -hmm. the power thereof. We need to go back to the cross yes. and know the wheels of God. Yes. And as young people, if we can say, go back to the cross. All right. You're going to look for we and say, we know, we, we, we young and young, but no, yeah. no But if you can say, go back to the cross where you can totally submit, yes. surrender, and heal yourself, and to know God, because somehow we, we just have an idea of God. We yes. don't know God, and this is why we behave like this. And this is why we, can, we speak in tongues, and we overpower people thinking that because yes. you speak in yeah. tongues, right. you're better than people, or you're more powerful, no power. or you know God. But you don't have the fruits the of the fruit. Yes. Come on. And by the fruits, you'll know no, them. Yes. And we want the people mm. to get the fruits, because if you, if, you have, if you have two lines that says um, character development and gifts of the spirit, the line for the gift of everybody the spirit will the be gift. everybody wants like yes for character, for character, character development. development. It's true. And did you listen to me? Jesus was not a, a DBDB man. Yes. And he left a blueprint for blueprint for us to live. And listen to me. Some ways when we see it happen, no. That's it's true. Not we need to get that's it right. We, we need to go, go back, back to the drawing yeah. board because Jesus. If you look at how Jesus even deal with people, you know. In the Bible, even uh, even look and how the disciples were. No, no, don't go beside. Yes. And Jesus said, No, leave and them, let them come. come. Mm -hmm. Leave them, let them come. Look on the little man that climb up in the tree for see Jesus, Zacchaeus. And the disciples said, Then I am you really go go sit down and eat Fee and house. fellowship with at theme house. I saw someone we stay. Yes. 
Jesus a him you want for me down there so him is a thief him is a murderer she is a whoremonger she is this she is a but a them people that Jesus want for me and look how Jesus meet you which part we did there Amen. so how comes Jesus can't meet them which part them there mm-hmm. you understand oh, we forget we forget that we were once you know the amnesia okay we don't want to remind them that is it when them get delivered and changed them feel like say yeah we know it washed away now but the thing is that it is a tool to be used to let others know your yes. testimony is a tool to let others know that i look better now but i'm not i wasn't always like this Amen. and what changed me jesus you can't make people feel like i'm here yes never arrived how dare you yeah you need to have a bridge Amen. so that they can know the path that you Amen. took and that Jesus was the one that brings you to this place where you change and you're different. Yeah. Hallelujah. This was such an awesome session, Samantha and Alison. And as we're closing, I want you to leave us with your last words. But listen, this is a buzzy, man. Yeah, right this So much and, more. And, right this so. And, and there was so much that I've learned and I know other persons would have learned that I'm saying people are God. Well, let us do it the right way so we mm-hmm. can see power, the power of God. Be Truly manifested in the land of yes, living. And show love. Mm-hmm. Not everybody is perfect and not everybody is the same. No, nobody not perfect. Alice now have our ways. Yeah. Some oh, of our yeah. ways, me have my ways. But let us love. Because Jesus loves us. Amen. Give us your last word, Alice. Yeah, my thing is, as we say, each of us have our ways. But it's not about our ways. We said, trust in the Lord. Lean not to our own understanding in all thy way. Acknowledge him and he will direct the path. And so I encourage everybody to realize that don't think about what you've heard about church. Don't think about what you've heard about the building and people. Remember that God is redeeming people, especially in this season, him doing a quick work. People, things changing in this this split of a second. Things Deliverance is happening immediately and people are able to be transformed. We're talking about the kingdom of God coming here on earth as it is in heaven. We're talking about the transforming grace. We're talking about the Holy Spirit enabling us to live. We're not talking about the gossip, um, the church. We need to focus on Jesus. A lot of things happened and has happened and is happening in the quote-unquote church. But don't be deterred by that. You will be that difference if your focus becomes on God and not on the building and the situation that we experience. Come on, it's it's, it's time for us to, to have a kingdom mind, as you said, and the kingdom of God has to come. That's the only way we're going to see change and deliverance. A lot of people keep focusing in on what happened and what has happened. Yes, we acknowledge it and we want those things to be fixed. But in the meantime, you need to put Jesus at the center Forget about what John Tom did and those things because John, don't make John Tom lead you out of what God called you for. Mm. God left the 99 sheep, go for the one. one. If you are that one, show your gratefulness and allow the Holy Spirit to do the transformation. A lot of times we stop our salvation and we are battling our sin. Mm. But we need to allow the Holy Spirit to enable us to live the yes. life that God calls us to. A lot of us don't reach that stage of sanctification. We're better with the sin, the so, mm, sin, the so, s- Sorry, God, forgive me. I'm saved, yes. But then how about living the life that will action change for everybody else and yourself? Well, I we love that, Alison. Basically, she said, be the change you want to see. Amen. Amen. Go ahead, Sam, as we close. So as we close, I just want to say that um, many things will happen, and people will say this, and people will say that. I remember when I was younger coming up, people wash their mouth by me so till me no know what to say. You are got dead by the time you reach 20. This I got up to you. You're coming like your workless pooper. This, that, that, and all of them. And you know what I did? I lock my ears to all of them. And I said, Lord, I didn't know much, you know, but you know, you go look at Sunday school and so. And I said, Lord, 
You be my father. You help me. You see them look how we as a God deal with me. Work on me first. Before I go beg you change nobody. Change me Lord. Help me to change my response. Because sometimes make them go on with themselves. But you see how you respond to it. That can be even more impactful. Because when them go sign up. And you just humble it out. You know. They say really? Oh God I feel so silly. Look how I carry on bad. And the person they even go on. One. When they go back home and they respond to them conscience, you, know, you just say, Lord, fix me. Help me to bring healing to some of these people. Hashtag church girl problems, God given solutions. Amen. And the one thing before we go, just tell the viewing audience where to find you. Hi, you can find me on Instagram at Alison Roberts 2.0. And you can check me out on YouTube at Alison Roberts, Facebook, Alison Roberts, Twitter, Aliberry 4 JC. Yes, and for me, you can check out our social media platform for Church Girl Problems on Facebook. It's Church Girls Problems, God Given Solution, and also on Instagram, Church Girls Problem. My personal Facebook page is Samantha K. Thompson at Facebook. And if you have a question, comment, or concern, feel free to send me an email at churchgirlproblems at gmail.com. And remember, Jesus alone, you know? I me love you too. We might not meet yes. someone uno, but me love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. And that love conquers every other love. Amen. Right, this a book. Yes. And listen to me. If you want to hear a little bit of church boy problem, just go over to MTM TV yes. on Thursdays and Saturdays, and you'll get that from Church Girls and Church Boy Problems. No, get out the girls. Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out the girls. Yes. Get out the girls. Thank you so much for watching. See you now. Talk you link. Yeah. You know how to go. Church girl problem. God given solution. It of a buzz. Yes. God bless you and thank you. Whoa! Thank you for watching Sheena Power Talk Youth Link. Please remember to subscribe, 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 like, share, and leave a comment. And if you want to donate to this amazing program, you can just look at the information below and contact me. And God bless you. Thank you. As for now, take care of yourselves and your family. <laughs>